Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another video on the Sports Perspective TV. And as you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be, you know, reviewing the West Indies, you know, championship. You know, we see where runs galore have been scored in the championship, you know, over eight centuries have been scored so far, even a double century, you know. Um, so the batsmen are in great form and a few bowlers have taken um, five wickets as, as well. So going to be reviewing the action so far you know so you know starting out you know we see where you know the, the West Indies captain you know Craig Brathwaite you know his good form you know continues you know leading Barbados you know with, with to a, a massive total you know Barbados you know scored over 500 runs in their first innings you know with Craig Brathwaite you know leading the way with 189 runs you know so 189 runs century almost a uh, uh, almost you know so 189 runs for for Craig Brathwaite in Barbados total you know also scoring for Barbados you know was Zachary McCaskey the young um, batsman as well you know he's he was under the West Indies tour to Australia but didn't get any game time but he also scored his, his maiden century in you know first class cricket so Congratulations to Zachary McCaskey as well, you know. So both Craig Brathwaite and Zachary McCaskey, you know, scored runs um, for Barbados. And then we also see where, you know, the West Indian all-rounder, you know, Rastan Chase, you know, he also scored a century, you know, making 127, a quick 127 too, you know. Um, I think he, it was 127 off about 80-something balls. So, you know, in in 40 cricket you know that that and in any form of cricket you know but especially you know 40 cricket where you know it, it's expected that the batsman will bat slower you know it was good to see chase you know scoring some runs but not only scoring runs but scoring runs quickly you know um so chase scored 127 in barbados innings as well you know we also see where the trinidad Trin trinidad and batsman in trinidad scored a huge total too you know trinidad scored over 500 runs and uh, Amir Jangu, he scored a double century for Trinidad, you know, making 200 and, um, 218 in Trinidad's total. Um, we also see where Jason Mohammed, he scored, uh, he made 157 in that total for Trinidad as well. And Joshua Da Silva, you know, the West Indian uh, wicket keeper, you know, he made 79 runs in Trinidad's total. You know, leading um so which you know so they they got to a total of five hundred and ninety one, you know so brilliant batting by Trinidad you know but it's especially good to see you know batsmen that are either in the West Indies team or have been around the West Indies team you know scoring runs, you know so Trinidad five hundred and ninety one for seven with Amir Jango getting a double century, Jason Mohammed uh, scoring one hundred and fifty seven and Joshua da Silva, you know scoring seventy nine runs. Guyana as well in their matchup against Jamaica, you know they scored, a, they made a, made four hundred and twenty four runs in their first innings, and um, with Tevin Imlak, you know he made hundred and one not out, you know so he batted the entire innings, you know so he opened the innings for Guyana and he ended the innings unbeaten on hundred and one runs, you know so good to see you know him scoring some runs as well, you know we even see where Gudakesh Moti, you know so Gudakesh Moti who is known for his bowling. You know, he made 56 runs, 56 runs as well for Guyana, you know, in their total of 424, you know, and it was a, a brilliant uh, recovery by Guyana, you know, because at one point they were 42 for five, you know, and they ended up making 424 runs. So what they want to put that down to good batting by Guyana or just poor bowling and fielding by Jamaica, you know, it, what, I'm not sure what to put it down to, but, you know, at the end of the day, Guyana, you know, made 424 runs, you know, with Imlak, you know, scoring a century and Moti getting a half century. Um, also, uh, oh, how could I forget? You know, so Kemal um, Savory for Guyana. He was the top scorer for Guyana. He made 155 runs for Guyana as well. You know, so both Imlak and Savory were, were the, 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 the main um, batsmen that, that, you know, contributed to Guyana's recovery from 42 for 5 to 424. So 155 runs for uh, Kemal Savory, 101 runs for Imlak, and Moti, you know, chipping in with 
with 56 runs. So good to see, you know. I good to see the just the batsmen in general scoring runs, you know, in the in the um West Indies Championship. You know, um also we have um see where Casey Carty, you know, he made a century as well for um his team, the Leeward Islands. You know, he made 127 runs in their um second innings, in their first innings, you know. Um as they, they replied to, to um, Barbados's uh, huge total. You know, so the early words were um, bowled for 288 runs and Casey Carty, you know, he made 127 of those runs. So uh, a brilliant century by Casey Carty as well. You know, um, so kind of just to recap how, um, so the West Indies players are players that are that are in and around the West Indies team. You know, like I said, it, it's good to see, you know, players that are in either in the West Indies team or around the West Indies team, you know, scoring runs. You know, so captain, you know, Brad Tweet, you know, with 189 runs, you know, Carty, you know, 127, you know, um, McCaskey, even though he never played for West Indies, you know, he uh, he was on that tour to when they, they played in Australia, you know, so he got a, a century as well. Um, who else? Rastan Chase, you know, he's been in the West Indies team, um, whether it's no matter what the format is, whether it's test cricket, you know, limited overs or T20 cricket, he's been around in the West Indies team as well, you know, scoring 127 runs and also taking three wickets for Barbados. Um, Joshua da Silva, you know, contributing 79 runs to, to Trinidad as well. And um, uh, Alric Athenes, you know, so his team, the Windward Islands, you know, they've actually, he scored 89 runs for the Windward Islands as well in their victory over um, the West Indies um, Academy. You know, so good to see, you know, the batsmen that are in the West Indies team are around the West Indies team, you know, stamping their class on the, the domestic domestic league, you know, and putting a, a lot of runs on the board. You know, even from a bowling perspective as well, you know, even um, so we see where um, Anderson Phillip, the young Trinidadian uh, fast bowler, he took five wickets uh, for, for Trinidad. You know, he's been around the West Indies team, but injury has also affected his, his progress, you know, in the team. So it's good to see him coming back and... Um, you know, taking wickets in, in the, the domestic competition. Uh, Versami Parmal, you know, the veteran Guyanese spin bowler, he also took five wickets uh, for Guyana against Jamaica as well. Um, he has, there's been a lot of controversy around Parmal and his um, inclusion or non-inclusion non in the West Indies team. But no matter what, you know, he's always a consistent performer in the domestic championship. So good to see Permal taking some wickets. You know, even though it was against Jamaica, which Jamaica is my team, you know, but it's definitely good to see Permal taking wickets as well. You know, so I uh, yeah, so so you know, like I said, it's it's good to see that the batsmen are scoring runs, you know, especially the batsmen that are we expect to be in the West Indies squad. You know, when the next series comes up against England, you know, um, they're not only stamping their class, you know, but staking their claim to be included in in the West Indies team. You know, and Django, you know, he is one of those uh, batsmen that, you know, he's been in, in good form, you know, for the entire, you know, championship, you know, for a good portion of the championship. So seeing him score over 200 runs. You know, it, that definitely bodes well for him, you know, as he tries to, to stake his claim uh, for inclusion in the, the West Indies squad, you know, when they tour England, you know, later on this year. You know, so it just depends on, on how strong he finishes the, the season. And, um, you know, what the selectors think, you know, it's will it be tough for him to, to make it in the team? Yes. You know, and we've seen also over the years that, you know, scoring runs in, in the domestic competition doesn't necessarily mean that, you will be um, included in in the West Indies squad, you know. Uh, we can just as recent as last year, where uh, Darren Bravo he was the top scorer in the, the the West Indies Championship, and he was not included in in the the West Indies team to to, to tour Australia. And even the year before before as well, where Darren Bravo again was the top scorer and he was not included in in the squad. So. Scoring runs in the in the in the domestic competition doesn't guarantee you a spot in 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 any of the West Indies squad, you know, based on you know what the selectors have been doing in in recent past. 
but it definitely gives you a good chance of being included. So hope Django just continue in his good form. And um, you know, then the selectors will handle the rest, you know. So that's all I have for you uh, for this video, fans. So again, so you know, I'll runs galore scored in, in the uh, four day championship. Um, you know, seven centuries and a double century were uh, was scored, and uh, we have a, a lot of a batsmen scored in half centuries as well, even bowlers. And bowlers are taking wickets in, in some of the matches. So that's all I have for you for this video. Again, thanks for tuning in to the Sports Perspective TV. And um, do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.